Chicago has 28 international cities that we're partnered with. Our oldest partner being Warsaw, Poland, uh, it was signed in 1960. Since then, uh, over the years, we've, we've signed with a total of 28 cities. And of those, seven of our sister cities have been engaged in social service exchanges. Social service exchanges are how two different cultures learn from each other to improve how they address social services in their own home city. These exchanges between Birmingham, Chicago and Hamburg have been going on now for over 20 years and the practice around social care uh, has been able to learn from the different approaches both in Hamburg and in Chicago. If this system didn't work of uh, moving around these three cities to learn from one another then we wouldn't have continued to do it for beyond 20 years. So we've, we've learned a lot both from uh, Hamburg and from Chicago. So main part of the program is of course the mutual learning in the social sector but at the same time the cultural experience and know, knowing about uh, people on the other side that would have really say I think are the depths of the program. It happened like two years ago when a group of people from Osaka came we decided to take them to this uh, facility uh, residential facility for older people that caters toward LGBTQ community. But when we took them to this place, they couldn't comprehend the idea that there are a group of people who are old and they are LGBTQ. Shanghai, they're a city of 24 million people and they are, uh, their, their population is aging faster than the rest of the population in China and almost faster than the rest of the population in the world. So they have actually been looking worldwide for models of care and when Andy and I were there in 2015, um, we saw um, evidence of models that they have developed from Japan, from Denmark, from Great Britain, and from the United States. I think the biggest attraction with the uh, chair that's in Casablanca right now, his name is Bubker Mazuz, is that they wanted to learn from Chicago how we deal with gang activity. For us, we wanted to learn how do you deal with what you deal with for the two cultures to look at each other to say, we have something that we think can help you and you have something that we think can help us. And so how do we bring this together? You have international exchange. Before I was a social worker, my background was actually in comparative linguistics and language education uh, with Japanese language and culture being my focus. Kind of combined these two areas of study and passion for me uh, in a way that I could never have imagined would have presented itself. The fact that the things that we're experiencing here must be similar to things that other countries are experiencing. So social work exchange gives us an opportunity to actually interface with other social workers in other country and look at how they're addressing issues that may be similar to what we're addressing here. It was really a chance to learn from experts because Paris's social service system is considered one of the best in the world and so there was really a chance to really share best practices at a very high level. Um, and it's, it still touches me today to think back to some of the things that we um, got to experience, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can never really say that without getting a little bit emotional, but um, we experienced just getting to see um, different care facilities in uh, Morocco that were so unique and, and had uh, such passionate workers that cared for children. And in that, um, in that day and in that moment, we just uh, got to see such a different side of the world that I will never forget. They, they really have broadened my horizons to see that there was such different work going on in different places in the world, but at the end of the day, we are um, in a business of, of caring for human beings. It's interesting because many of them coming from overseas have a certain idea of Chicago, our violence, etc. And when they go and see other areas and places and what's being done about some of this, uh, they go back with a greater respect for the city. It's important uh, to exchange ideas 
both ways. We have geriatric problems, we have gang problems, violence problems, uh, abuse problems, and all these are discussed in these committee meetings, and that's why I think it's valuable to see where they're going and what might be done about the problems. But really the work that Chicago Sister Cities International does is done by our volunteer committee members. They are dedicated, they make a lot of the connections and programming happen that Chicago does with its international sister cities and with the social services exchange program in particular they are self-funding those programs so these are volunteers who are raising that money to make these connections around the world happen. I would say to corporations, I would say to academic institutions, I would say to individual donors um, help make Chicago visible as the great global city it is.